Oh, you got lucky. I was gonna chuck you in the dead bin. In this war, you're either dead or fixin' to die. How's it going, guys? My name is Graham. Welcome to the short, simple little game jam build game that I thought would be fun to check out. Fixin' to die. Kind of a double double meaning there like you're you're fighting to the death but also you're playing as a medic trying to fix everyone it's uh what fresh horrors await today i should wait and hear what they have to say uh self-described as like surgeon simulator meets overcooked you're just kind of running around trying to help everyone patients outside are in critical condition their recovery outlook drops the longer they wait i guess i shouldn't waste time reading all this text then i should probably just grab him and, and get him out of there wow what a mighty doctor we have here. Well done. They're stable. Recovery outlook is now visible. Recovery outlook is not a patient's health. It's a chance of an operation succeeding. Okay, so it's not just their health dropping off. It's whether or not I can save them. A living patient's no use if they're not fighting fit. So grab a tool and operate. Just just a hacks bone saw. It's literally a bone saw. What the shit? You're a butcher. What a what a terrible doctor. I, I assume I have to put away the, the, the saw that I can't go picking people up with the saw. I can, I can test that out momentarily. Ooh, he's already 50%. That's like, it takes a long ass time to operate. I mean, it looks like you're not saving time. You're not doing this in a way that's very efficient or anything. Like, now what have I tried to say? You're wasting no time. You're using a literal saw to hack into this guy. You would think that, you know, you can finish an operation in like seconds. Just open him up, cut out whatever it is that's making him ill. I mean, what are we repairing even? <laughs> like, we're not, probably not helping internal injuries if this is war. Operation failed, but the patient is still alive. Uh, just write it off then, I guess. I don't know. You can try operating again. There's always a chance. Oh, shit. But there are critical patients always waiting, and their outlook is also dropping. Sacrifice a, a, a patient when the recovery outlook is too low. S pick them up and stick them in the bin. Uh, I certainly don't want to operate right now, so I think you're getting binned. So I can give... Oh, God, there's a queue of guys building up here, too. Oh, he started with such a terrible chance. Oh, that's... Well, I'm glad we were able to save that guy. His chances weren't looking that good, either. We should give everyone at least one chance, right? Oh, the better their outlook, the... Oh my god, that guy's just split open on the table there. Let's... We might as well just keep doing it just to see what happens. We're gonna... We're gonna chop this guy into bloody little bits, but we're gonna save him. We cured him. We did it. I'm an amazing surgeon. All I had to do was rip all of his guts out and eventually... Eventually it worked. Who knew surgery was so simple? I, maybe there's individual levels. I thought this was just going to keep piling up endlessly, but no extra people are coming. I'm so sorry. So many chunks. It saved him. I only had to sacrifice one. Ambush at Black Knob. I wasn't expecting there to be levels, actually. The Siege of Eerie Gorge. I wonder if they're randomized. Eight. I have eight patients. Blood packs. We'll have to use that at some point. Shit, I always forget to, to hold the button at the first one there. Cured. Oh, yeah, those nice 80 percenters is what I'm looking for. Oh, come on, 50% failure. Now it's just going to get worse and worse. Oh, I, I was about to write him off. That very last one I was trying didn't work. He was getting written off. Oh, cool. I, I, ex I did that on accident, putting the saw at the edge of the bed there. I should maybe just always stash them there. That's a much better place for them than this back table is. Cured. I'm a genius. I'm acing this one. I don't even need blood packs. These guys are... These guys are fighting fit. Put them, put them back in the trenches. That's so terrible. I think I aced it. Yeah, 100%, right? That one was an easy one. That one, give me a challenge, game. Oh, now it, it introduced a new thing. The bombing of Heartbreak Pass. 10 injured. Cure 70% to pass. Hygiene. 
I have to wash my hands sometimes? I assume it means like 1 in 30 operations or whatever. Like, it's not that important. Oh, if that guy failed at 90%, I was going to be pissed. Oh, my recovery chance goes down when I'm less hygienic. You should probably wash your hands occasionally, or all patients' recovery outlook will start to drop. Damn, son. Alright, how long does it take to wash your hands? Oh, it, it's a very short thing. That's okay. I'm, I'm okay with it as is. I can, I can probably, like, sacrifice now and again. Sacrifice those seconds, I should say. Not, uh... Not ch chucking these guys into the literal sacrifice bin. Oh, come on. That was too short of time in between. Fuck. Alright, you get three. Hey, not bad. You get, like, two attempts at best. I'm, I don't want to waste a ton of time. That was lucky. I probably should have grabbed the other guy to stabilize. Lucky again! Alright, but they're, like, they're dropping like crazy here. Dropping in their, their ability to stay saved. Since I'm losing percent, I should probably clean up to improve my odds at least a little bit. Fuck, failure. I probably should have just kept going on that one guy now. He's just gonna keep getting worse. This guy is at the doorway is dying. Like, he's- I think he might be the last one though. Shit. I let him get down so low in the meantime. It's okay though, we'll just do like 18 surgeries there. I got nothing else in my queue for the day. We can just- we'll make it happen. Whew! Zero sacrificed again. I'm great at this. I'm I'm ready for more. Make it make it harder. Introduce new mechanics. The Battle of Death Shore. Yeah, there's no no deaths on my shore today. 100% success rate is all I'm willing to accept. Okay, I was just waiting for more people to show up. I guess we'll just get get to chopping. This is so slow. It's such a slow operation. Shit. I got you, kiddo. Kiddo. <laughs> So encouraging along the way. You don't live this one. Oh, you got lucky. I was gonna chuck you in the dead bin. <laughs> ah, no, I gotta put you in the bed before I wash my hands. Oh, he's toast. Uh, you're getting one attempt. Yeah, he's not gonna make it. That's nice that it calculates the odds for me on the fly, though. As, shoot, as soon as I washed my hands, I could see everyone's improving. It's the first time I've sacrificed anyone in a while. Oh, it's the first time I get to see what the hell blood packs are all about now, too. You can now fill them from the bin, use them to boost the recovery outlook of a patient. Oh, so killing people's good. <laughs> all right, guess what? You're 22%? Sucks to be you, man. You don't even get an attempt. Oh, God, people are he's bleeding out. Uh, do I abandon this operation? Do I keep going? Dropping your doing cauterize the wound. I didn't know. It told me after. Oh, my God. God, that gets so much more intense. Uh, uh, you guys are boned. I cauterized the wound too late. These other young lads still have a fighting chance. They're just dying at the doorway. Literally standing at death's door. I gotta save them. Oh, God, I gotta go wash my hands. You gotta get into bed. There's too many fucking things to do. Uh, uh, cauterize the wound. Use blood bag. Transfused. Oh, he's... That makes a big difference, actually. I should sacrifice more people. My overall odds would probably improve if I... Oh, well, that was a that was an unlucky go, wasn't it? Still got your legs, though. Lieutenant Dan would be envious. That was all he wanted. I'm I feel like I'm getting kind of lucky here, because most of these guys are coming in here around 50%, and somehow I'm still managing to actually cure them and keep them alive. Like... 40% it's a coin toss here and I'm I'm getting so lucky you guys you guys could probably use some blood bags cuz oh my goodness That makes such a huge difference doesn't it and that guy is so injured. Uh, I wash my hands That'll be a huge improvement again there now now they're they're salvageable had to sacrifice four. 75, I think 75 was the exact pass. I should probably do that math ahead of time rather than just hoping I get lucky. Oh, is that the end of the game? Ref, rest in peace, Rev A Viper Piles, cause of death. Oh, I didn't even get to say, Major N.I. Hicks, cause of death, battered liver. I tried to be gentle, it was just in my way. General Z. Jackson, malignant lacerated kidney. There's a lot of things wrong with that kidney. Private Al L. Deadeye Lloyd, mauled finger. He got in the way. He was trying to push me away. Admiral Dillon, fungal aching heart. 
Uh, that was my fault. That fungus, who knows where that shit came from. That, I, there was nothing I could have done about that. Either dead. I'm a, I'm a surgeon, not a botanist. What am I supposed to do about fungus in the heart? That's not my expertise at all. There was no saving that one. Poor, poor, poor those five guys. But 35 out of 40 for my first attempt, I feel like I aced it. If they're going to draw the comparisons between Surgeon Simulator and Overcooked, they need to make this into a larger multiplayer game where you are actually running around. And, like, it doesn't have to be in a war setting. It could be any type of surgery thing. But if people are running around doing these, like, minigame type interactions, trying to, like, stop people from bleeding out and cauterizing wounds and getting blood bags and getting transfusions and, like, amputating and, like, just trying to scramble around the hospital and, like, oh, you gotta go wash your hands, you gotta sanitize things, you gotta go get a different instrument that you don't have, you need an x-ray machine or something, like, just scrambling around a hospital trying to save people could actually be such a fun game. This was a fun game. I had fun with it, but can you imagine that on a larger scale multiplayer changing levels like an Overcooked or whatever? Like, that would actually be so great. I genuinely hope they pursue that as a larger product because I will definitely be playing it. Cool, I hope you guys enjoyed Fixing to Die. I'll have a link down below if you want to try it for yourself. Let me know if you beat 35 out of 40. Although you'll have an advantage because I showed you what to do. <laughs> I got, I got so lucky in so many instances though, so I, I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.